Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Elsa. Welcome to Meaningful Travel. Now, what you're about to see is a shorter chapter of a longer form video. So if you like what you see, be sure and check out the longer form video that you can find on our main page. Enjoy and give us a thumbs up. Okay, no review of the Occidental Nueva would be complete without some information about the Royal Level service that they offer, something that many people don't even realize is an option. At first, we were unsure if we wanted to pay extra for the Royal Level, but at the time we made reservations, the rate wasn't that much higher, so we went for it, and we're really glad we did. Absolutely. Now, at check-in, they give you a special yellow bracelet that not only gets you into the Royal Level only areas, but it also serves as your door key. Now, at first, I have to admit, I thought the bracelet as a room key was a pretty horrible horrible idea, but in the end, I loved it. Great for someone like me who's constantly wondering if I lost my room key, did I bring my room key? This became a major bonus for me. Royal Level rooms are at the top two floors and they come with 24 hour room service. Our room was smaller than many of the rooms at just over 350 square feet. That was a bit disappointing, but the rest of the service was great. Now keep your eye on the pane of glass just to the right of the closet there. It's a great surprise, but we'll get to that in just a second. Speaking of the closet, there wasn't a lot of space, especially for two people. So don't pack more than you need just for a vacation at the beach. Of course, the main attraction of this room is the view. As mentioned before, the room itself wasn't very big and the bathroom was a bit cramped. It had all the necessary amenities, but the shower was pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's the glass walled shower beside the closet. It lets in tons of natural light and even better, you get a view of the ocean while you're rinsing off after a long day. Now with Royal Level Service, you get priority reservations to the on-site restaurants. And we've heard that getting reservations at the restaurants can be kind of hard without the Royal Level Service. And of course, as we said, there's Italian, Japanese, and and here's a tip, because reservations are kind of hard to come by, we made sure to make reservations. The thing we didn't do was hold on to the slip of paper they gave us when we made the reservations. I tossed it, we showed up for our reservation time and they didn't have us on the books. So we were out of luck until we could make another reservation several days later. But one extremely handy feature is that the top floor has a Royal Level only restaurant that's not expansive, but it does have great service, tasty dishes, and of course the drinks are always on them. And of course, the crowds are basically non-existent. One of our favorite parts of the Royal Level service was the exclusive pool. I did my morning laps before the crowd showed up while Scott did some free swimming and soaked in the jacuzzi. It was a great way to start the day. Now the Royal Level pool even has its own Royal Level bar even has its own private sun deck. Now, one pro tip about the sun deck is get your towels down early on the lounge chairs because people love to reserve a spot there early. And once they do, they're taken up and the odds of them getting freed up are pretty slim. And of course, the final perk to Royal Level is getting access to the private beach area. Mm, that was an amazing place. You have to make reservations for this area, which is a pretty good thing because I think just about everybody would gravitate to this place and there'd be huge crowds, but instead, it's relaxing and comfortable. We hope you like what you saw. Just a reminder, this is a shorter chapter of a longer form video. And that longer form video can be found on our main page. And speaking of videos, right about now, you should be seeing some other videos that you can check out to deeper dive into more meaningful travel.